Guess who's back? Created a monster. Nobody wants to see Ty no more. They want the savage. I'm chopped liver. If you want shady, this is what I'll get. Well, if you want the savage, this is what I'll give you. A little bit of me mixed with some Kobe. I'm talking that Roby. Hey, yo, to the people in the back, stop, sit down. You don't know me. This looks like a job for me, so everybody just subscribe me because we need a little Ty Traversy. Besides, the YouTube feels so empty without me. Hey, a little Eminem throwback for my real ones. You know what's good. Uh, but that's enough of that because this video has probably already been flagged for copyright infringement if you're still even watching here because of cringe infringement. I'm sorry. By the way, guys, if it seems like I'm in a hotel room, I'm not, I am. Okay, fine, I am. All right, but I could not wait to get back to you guys. It's been too long. So yes, even though I'm not home, I had to make this happen. So please disregard the strange, gross, sorry, art behind me and the weird couch and the not niceness, but just focus on me, okay? Eye contact. My eyes are up here, not anywhere else, okay? Here. The point is I've missed you. Let's make out and make up. Sorry, I'm being rude again. Uh, hi, if you're new here, what's up? And my name's Ty, welcome to my channel. If you haven't already subscribed, <laughs> you good? Uh, just kidding, am I good? Because I'm the one who hasn't posted in forever. And we're gonna talk about why and what's going on with this channel from here on out. Before all that, um, seriously, go ahead and subscribe and turn on post notifications for a shout out. You guys know I do not play with my shout outs, okay? I do not mess around. Shout outs every video. Let's dive in. The million dollar question. Ty, where the f have you been? Um, well, <laughs> it's gonna cost you a million dollars. <laughs> Get it? Because it's a million dollar question. <laughs> I'll see myself out. I get it. It's not funny. All right, I'll be serious for a second. So let's make a long story as short as possible because you guys aren't here for all of this, but you 100% deserve an explanation about why I took a break. And you're gonna get one. <sighs> I have mentioned before my struggle with anxiety. Now, this is not like surface level anxiety. This is severe, diagnosed, clinical anxiety that started leading to daily panic attacks. If you've struggled with anxiety, you know that depression usually follows because when you're having a panic attack every day, well, you start to feel a little hopeless, you know? You can't function the way you used to and you've lost full control over how you're feeling. Scary place to be. I've struggled with both since I was a kid, but the last year was worst it's ever been hands down. I was completely overwhelmed both personally and professionally. There was a lot going on. Okay, I had a serious stalker. I was in two serious car accidents. My apartment flooded, like everything flooded. I had painful family stuff going on. And these are just a few examples to give you an idea of things that were triggering an already anxious person. Not a good combo. I could go on, believe me, but that's not the point. The point is I needed to take some time off to handle some real life stuff, get my mind right, get my life right. Guess what? I have no shame in that. Let me explain. I know I mess around and joke a lot. It's part of my personality. I'm going to help it. But my core intention behind my platforms and my career is to put out content that in some way or another somehow makes you feel good. I know the power, okay, of watching a video that has just a high vibe. It doesn't really matter what the topic is. The video just like shifts something in you and you feel good. I've experienced that with different creators. It makes a difference and that's my intention behind everything I create. To hit you with that right vibe that just keeps your spirit up. Whether we're laughing together or you're laughing at me or you're engaged, whatever. Your girl has done her job, all right? My goal in life and pretty much everything is to give more than I take but I can't do that when I'm in a place of feeling lost, which is exactly how I felt last year. I can't make you feel good or anyone else feel good if I don't feel good. So I took the time to get clear, get healthy, get back on my game, because on the real though, the game needs me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, but seriously, no, it does. Taking time away from your career in this industry is considered career suicide, all right? It's the entertainment industry. But it was worth it for me to risk it all, as the kids say, uh, get right, figure things out so we can all grow together. I'm gonna do this the right way or I'm not gonna do it at all. <sighs> all right, we're gonna talk about some real-ish for a minute, okay? For anyone who's struggling with any form of mental health, and by the way, we all are on varying levels, I'm gonna share with you the thing that has helped me the most. To some, it may seem overly simple, it may seem cliche, but um, it works. 
And that is complete and total just acceptance of everything that's happened in my life, all the way down to childhood. Just accept it, can't change it. And then taking full responsibility for how the rest of my life turns out because that I can control. Now I'll show you what this looks like in my life, okay? So growing up, I experienced high levels of trauma. I think we all kind of did to varying degrees, but they've actually done studies that show when you experience a certain like threshold of trauma as a child, it changes how your brain develops. So I've had this brain that is constantly anxious because of the past, which doesn't exist anymore. It's fun. It's not. I've literally had to retrain and reprogram my brain to stop living out of the past. And it's a work in progress. But one of the steps in that is just owning that what happens from here on out as an adult is on me. No matter what I've been through, I can create a good life. And the life that I want with a little bit of work. This is how it's done, all right? You step by step make goals and then work backwards. You make plans on how to execute those goals and then you take those action steps so that you can live the life you want and that you're in full control over. Can I get an amen? amen? We're no longer blaming mom and dad for the trauma. That's done and it just holds you back. You gotta forgive knowing that everyone can only meet you from their level. When you know better, you do better. They did their best. You accept it, you move on because you still have a full life ahead of you. Another game changer is not relying on anyone or anything else for your needs. Is it great when people help you out? Yeah, it is. Accept it every time you get the chance. But make sure that you are providing those things for yourself. Examples of this are happiness, safety, financial security. It doesn't really matter. No one owes you anything, but it's great when people help. Now, do I think that this is the healthiest version of us in society? No, I don't. I think society should be a little bit more communal I wish we could all like really rely on each other a little bit more and know that we're gonna show up but that's kind of not how things are right now we've become we've had to become super super independent so until we get back to that communal tribal way of life if you will um, you have to make sure that you are providing yourself and your life with your own needs that way when and if someone dips out of your life, you're good. That little shift in your mindset, if you have anxiety, reduces so much anxiety. I'll tell you why. Because part of anxiety is the fear of the unknown, like what's gonna happen. But when you just like take full responsibility, like well I'm in control of what's gonna happen and other people can do their thing and situations can arise but that's okay because I'm gonna handle it. It reduces anxiety like a mother Taking full responsibility for how your life turns out, no matter what the F you've been through, is called freedom, my friends, and I am not kidding. In the words of Cardi B, I fall nine times, but I get up 10, bitch. I've been through some things, but I keep coming back, and I always will, and you will too. Also, I'm on some Gary Vee-ish right now, okay? And I know I'm still in my 20s. I still have time to make a few mistakes, but then also lay a solid foundation and bounce back, and so do you. All right, I'm sorry about that. I went off on a, on a tangent. Um, I had to give it the gospel of Ty for a second, but I, I hope that helps someone, okay? Back to the content. I have not found anything in life that sparks more joy or more passion or makes me happier than creating content and talking sports with you. This isn't just about you if you thought it was, okay? I do this because nothing makes me happier. I don't know why, it's just the way it is. I found my passion at a young age. Thank you, God. By the way, Quick side note, that is another thing that helps so much with anxiety and depression is taking the time to really focus on what is going right and having gratitude for it. Because when you just focus, even if it's just like two good things in your life, when you just focus on those things and you just thank God or whoever or whatever for those things, it takes up the space of you focusing on something that might make you anxious or something that might make you sad or depressed or whatever the case is. So. One thing that helps a lot for me is I make a list of 10 things I'm grateful for and then I write why I'm grateful and then I'll read that list like daily and that helps a lot. I mean, I don't know if you believe in the law of attraction, you don't have to. We all believe in the power of Oprah, okay? And she has said this too, when you focus on what you have, you get more. When you focus on what you don't have, you lose what you have, okay? Sorry, another tangent, back to my point. I'm gonna keep doing this, what we have, as long as I can do it right for you and right for me. So
So here's the deal, okay? This channel is not a mental health channel or a lifestyle channel or um, law of attraction or Oprah channel, okay? This is a mother freaking sports channel and a sports channel it will remain. By the way, we have a lot to talk about. The league is out of control right now. They are acting out, did you see? Okay, hold on. We're gonna talk about that in the next video. For those of you wondering, yes, the Ty Savage channel is back on and popping. Add your kids. Okay, here's the deal though, a lot of you ask me for vlogs and lifestyle content and I've done some of it here but like I just eh, I can't really do that here and feel good about it because we do sports here we do it well uh, but what the people want you guys know I find a way to deliver so I've created a second channel called Ty Unfiltered the link is in description where I will be uploading vlogs and talking about lifestyle ish I so, if you want to see that, subscribe there as well. You heard all of that correctly. I will be running two channels, and I got a few other things in the works for that ad. I decided, you know what? Instead of dealing with overwhelm from building other people's brands and companies full time, why don't I just stop doing that and build my own, right? Today's post notification shout outs go to Ian Jackson, Charlie the Legend, Heike Mars, Malcolm 2019. Woo, thank you so, 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 so much for your support here and on Instagram. And for those of you who don't know, I am currently competing in Maxim's 2019 cover girl contest and everyone I just mentioned has voted for me. Voting is completely free, link in description. If you wanna see your girl on the cover of Maxim with a two page spread, um, this could really take the brand to the next level. So please vote for your girl, I love you for it. Wow. I gotta talk to my OG, my tire dies, the tie army, okay? Who have stuck with me on here, even with my period of not posting, who have kept reaching out, who kept encouraging me. Hey, guess what? It worked. Thank you so much. This one's for you. Peace. For all you benches in the back who thought it was your time now because I took a break, <laughs> it's over for you. Toodles.